Hi, this is Brian Haberlin from DigitalArtTutorials.com and a little tip on Clip Studio Paint. Uh, there's some great people talking about flatting in this and, and everything and, and tricks and I thought I would go through it. Every demo I've ever seen online for it is these really simple line art and I would give it a torture test with a medieval spawn page with a lot more detail and stuff and, and whatever. So. It, they have this great, basically, kind of almost auto-filling lasso tool, and you can set it to pens and stuff. And I'm going to go through it really quickly on how you set it up, because there are a few little tricks. So I've got my line art here on this top layer. I have it in multiply mode. You'll see this little lighthouse thing here. That means I've set it as a reference layer. There are a lot of tools in Clip Studio that will address knowing what the shape of those lines are in the reference layer automatically. So I have a reference layer and I have another layer that's my base color layer. Okay, So I have this set so it's my reference layer. Um, it also is uh, transparent uh, in, in if you have black and white art, artwork and you bring it into uh, Clip Studio it's very easy to just do convert to brightness and boom you'll have transparencies in there instead of white. So see like that. This also makes it very easy to color line art as well this way. Um, so anyway, uh, let's get down to it. So they have their bucket tool down here, and you'll see they have the different settings for it. Dun, 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 dun. You want close and fill, okay? I'm in my base layer. You'll see I have the little reference light on up there. And now I can just go and pick a color. Let's go ahead and grab something not too obnoxious and I'm just going to do a loose grab around this guy's shirt notice I'm not boom done okay let's go with something a little more obvious so I'm going to grab his head you know you know you notice I'm not just kind of going around do 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 you know boom and so I didn't quite get all that so I'm doing another loop around until I kind of get it it's not always going to be perfect, especially when you have something that has a ton of lines like this does, but I could just go back to the pen tool and just boom, done. Okay, out. I think that's the fastest way to do it. Because you notice, it, again, it won't be super, it won't be like, oh my god, it's perfect, especially with this detailed line work. If you do simple sort of animation line work or stuff, boy, it's, it, it, it's simple. I mean, because watch how easy it is for me to get Spawn's eye here. Whoops, I was with the pen tool still. Boom. Okay, and you'll notice I got a little bit up there, you know. If I went ahead and went back and get, tried to get a little bit closer to it, boom, I just have it. Super, super, super easy, super fast. It also has a pen version, so if I take uh, a pen, this is going to get to a more detailed thing, so I'm just going to kind of gloss over it here, and then you'll see more how to do this in a later tutorial. So I'm taking my regular G pen, I duplicated it, and I added the uh, line art reference to it. So now I can take this pen tool and kind of roughly go into an area, and it will keep it within the lines. Let's see what's a better example of that. So like that little circle, boom. You see how big my brush is? And I'm just hitting that little circle, boom. Boom. Okay. I just want to get this tree fairly detailed, one stroke. Again, not, you know, I got a little bit up there. That's easy to clean up, but the rest of that would have been a pain to sort of mask out. Again, this tree, another, another painful tree. Boom. Done. So highly, highly recommended. This is so much easier than dealing with this stuff in, in Photoshop. Uh, Clip Studio Paint Pro, and Clip Studio Paint does this too. And it's been doing it in Mango Studio for ages before that, because this was, used to be Mango Studio. Okay, there's your tip for the day, and I think it's a good one. Hey. Thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, please uh, check out our website, digitalartstutorials.com. And if you have any friends or family you think might enjoy it, please, by all means, share away. Uh, there will be a lot more of this stuff coming up. I'm dialing up to do a lot more tutorials. So subscribe and stay tuned for more.